hi everyone welcome back to my channel it's another farm video and right here i'm back to mr patrick fish pond the last time i came here a lot of people has been asking me for mr patrick's contact because they saw what he does and how big his fish were so i gave loads of people his contact so they spoke and it was really nice and he later told me someone came around just to check because they want to verify if what they're seeing here is actually genuine and if i really made a genuine content and if mr patrick is the owner of the farm so they came they find out they saw everything for themselves so i'm here again today after a lot of months of being here i've been busy that's why i've not been here so i'm here today and i'm going to show you his factory i'm going to go into his factory i'm going to show you his factory and he's going to walk me through his factory as well and the fish are here as well so he's making a sale very soon this evening and i'm going to be here to see the products of his fish i'm sure they will be big i want to know how big the fish will be anyway let me take you around and if you have any question comment down below if you need his contacts uh dm me on ig please dm me on ig my ig uh name is always in the description box please and please so don't hack over and over and over and over again for contact or number or my ig anyway at the beginning of this video you already saw the you, re you already saw my ig so anyway let's go inside so i can see they are just offloading some maize i think those are part of the ingredient they use as walk inside So guys, this is the local feed. This is what they feed the fish. I guess chicken eats it as well, as well as goats, because there was a goat disturbing the feed here. So they, they brought it here. After manufacturing it, they bring it outside to dry it. Oh, look at these chickens. Oh. Okay, move up. You know, look at what is that? 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 What is I'm sure you guys have seen him before. Good day, everybody. This is Patrick from Peace and Agri Enterprises in Ogun State, Abuja, Nigeria. So let's take a walk to your production room to okay. see how you, you know, just take us around and just say something about how you manufacture all these catfish food. Okay? These are the part of the materials that we use for the production of the food. And these are maize, right? Yes, yes. Wow, this is a lot of maize. So it's like you are making in large quantity. 65. With the help of God, yeah. That's, yeah. That's wonderful. Here is our kidney. We have three industrial machines here. Let's go and start from the carburizer. Okay. Okay, this is the inventory, the store. Yes. Okay, yes. so everything is kept here. Yes. This is where we keep part of our materials. This one are kept here. So, oh, right. Yeah. So, let's start from this. This machine is called pulverizer machine. Pa what? Pulverizer. Okay. Machine. What we use it for is to grind our materials into powder. Oh. Depends on how powder you want your materials or the wow. level of the fishes you want to produce food for. If your fishes are still small, you are, for example, if you are producing 2 mm, we set this pulverizer for the smaller size so that the materials will be grounded to powder form so that it will quickly digest in the stomach of the fishes Ooh. when you monetize it for small fishes because fishes love feed that will digest easily when they take it this pulverizer we use it to grind 
our materials. Oh, when we are ready to use it, we use this bag to cover. This is where we withdraw the grounded materials through. Some use what we call covio. Covio. Yeah, covio. But we don't use it. The reason we don't use it is that there are some other materials that we don't need to grind them before we use it, like full fat soya. Full. Full fat soya. Full fat soya. Yeah. Or poultry meal. They are already in yeah. powder, powder form. form. Are you getting it? Mm -hmm. So every any pavesa that is using covio immediately is grinding it here. The covio will move it directly. It's the one that will connect oh. it for so that's mixer. right. What's that one called? Mixer. Mix mixer. Yeah, this is a mixer. So the covio is the one that will collect the grounded materials to mesa but we don't use covio because there are some materials here that they are in powder form that mm -hmm. we need to include into our film so for that reason we collect our grounded materials with this sack we now move it to the mesa where we mix everything and add every other ingredient we want to add we now add this to it so after adding it to it, we add some um, ingredients like vitamin C, fish premium, like C metals. Come again, come again. Like, like vitamin C, fish premium, methylene, lysine, DCP. After mixing it, we make sure that we mix it for some minutes, like thirty minutes. Wow, thirty minutes. Yes, to make sure that those materials mix well. Wow. So from this place, we will collect the materials. How do we mix it? After we have collected the grounded materials from here, okay. bring it down here. This is where we'll be pouring it. We will pour it here. Okay. So this mesa has collector inside. It's the one that will be collecting it, taking it up, mixing it. Really? So yes. it's mixed from down yes, we, up? When we put it here, it's the one that will collect it. We'll be taking wow, it up. I thought you were going to pour no, it no, no, from no, no, the... No, no. This wow, it, really? Collect it and be missing it. After we have missed it and everything is well missed, we will take it out here. We collect it out here. Okay. This way we collect it out. We collect it here with bars. So some of the bars, there are some okay. of the bars, but majority of them are outside yes. and we're going to use them for okay right now. Which they will be seeing in our second video. video. Okay, yeah. now you want to harvest, right? Yeah, yeah, we are going for harvesting. Right, so okay. So that will be in the second video. Special as well. Right now. So when we collect it here, we now move it to this is called pelletizing machine. What do you call it? Pelletizing machine. Oh yeah. pelletizing, like yeah. pellets. Yeah. Pellet, yeah. This is the final stage of the production, is the one that pelletizes it. We just finished the pro production of today. Now you will have seen it. So yeah, I can see yeah. all this. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is where we pelletize it. After pelletizing it, we take it to dryer. We have feed dryer at back there. Okay. So you can go, you yeah, go we'll check it out. So you will check it. We have feed dryer there. Aside on, but during the sunny season, most of the time, we can spread, spread it down. outside. Because it's best way to sun dry than using... Oh, I noticed some chickens and um, goats, they are eating from it. Well, not only goat and chickens, I can say that almost eighty percent of animals they do eat it. Wow. Dogs they eat it. Really? Yes. Dog they eat, eat it. it. Wow. Lizard they eat it. So chicken they eh, majority of domestic animals that I've seen that I've come across they do eat it. So what I what I mean is that eighty percent of animals. Wow. Let me even say that all domestic animals, they do it. And they food. enjoy it. They enjoy it. I lot. notice the dogs if, and the chicken are very big. They are very big and fresh. When because you see of this? Them, yes. When you see the goats, around dogs this area. that are living around <laughs> here, they are different from others. And they are something, they are very sensitive to our machines. Once they hear that we have started generator for production, they are coming. we see them coming from different... Wow. Because they know that food, free food. Yes, 
free come, free pizza. Yes, yeah, so they come for it. Even birds, they do come. So that's how we operate it. So it's not like you are just feeding only your uh, your catfish. You are feeding no, all the domestic, domestic animals animal for free. They also they enjoy from it too. Okay, but, you 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 pursue them. Yes, then we chase them away, but okay, they still they stop. During the rain season, or if with some people, if they want the production immediately, we use dry dryer, a dry oh, machine, yeah. and back them just to dry it for them and then pack their food so, immediately. What is the difference between this um, local one and the foreign feed? Well, the difference are not that much. The only major difference is that the foreign feed, we call it floating feed. There's nothing special about calling it foreign feed. Feed is feed. The only difference is that they float. And the reason for the floating is that it's because of the machine they use to produce it. The machine is called extruder. What? Extruder. 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 It extrudes the feed. That is extruding machine. We call it extruding machine. But this one doesn't extrude the feed. Okay. consuming a lot of electricity so they have their own generator they use in powering it i'm still here in the factory and it's amazing how everything works from uh, the grinding to the mixing and then turning it to the pellet it's so awesome and then they dry it outside or the dryer over there like it's awesome and they feed it to the catfish and a lot of animals dog goats ram dog they all come to consume it so it's just like a free food for them so i saw a few over there in which they were just chasing them away and they're still coming back this is the dryer and this is where they bring them it's quite small i guess that's why they prefer taking it outside oh well so they connect a motor to it so and there is like a cool there i guess it is awesome that's a farm that's a fish pond and this is really nice i'm really happy being here again <laughs> Okay. 